with Sasha Martinengo, Daisy Fencham, and Wow, coming all the way from London's West End. I don't know, if, is, it, is that a posh part of London, the West End? Well, it is, and that's the main theatre district yes, as well, yeah. so it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit posh in certain areas, yes. Very posh. This is <laughs> Miss Polly Ray. Hello. Miss Polly Ray has brought a hurly-burly um, show to Emperor's Palace, and we've got uh, Miss Peggy from the moon, the Luna. <laughs> Peggy the Loon, yes. Peggy the Loon. Mm-hmm. Is this how you girls dress all the time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Girls, hello. <laughs> we need to up our game here a little bit. Okay, so the Hurley Burley show, um, Burley, Burlesque, that's got to right. be. Yep. Without giving too much away, just tell us what is the show about. Sure. Well, we, we like to call it a burlesque-inspired erotic pop cabaret. So that <coughs> covers a lot of ground. <laughs> so you got me at erotic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where to go from there now. We can say risque as well. You know, basically, I come from a burlesque background. I started working in burlesque about seven years ago. That's when I created the Hurley Burley Show. And then about three years ago, I met an amazing man called William Baker, who became our director. Um, and he's famous for his work with Kylie Minogue. So he is Mr. Pop. So we've combined burlesque, um, my burlesque experience with his incredible pop and fashion experience, and we've fused the two together to create a really sexy, fun show that um, um, is just, I mean, we, we love it, and it's funny. What's really great about the Hurley Burley show is that although it's quite risque and sexy, there's mm-hmm. a huge comedy element to it, um, full of innuendo and carry on camping type stuff and um, and the musical score you're going to know all the songs as well oh really yeah we do we do Bad by Michael Jackson but we do a sleazy blues arrangement of it we do It's a Sin by the Pet Shop Boys but we're in a church so it's kind of you know <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it's yeah it's you know it's kind of a, it's a review show so there's lots of different scenes in it was it your concept yes so completely your concept yes okay and how did you get hold of Peggy Peggy is a very big a UK burlesque star she's actually oh. from the States I am. Um, so I'm an but why don't why don't you tell tell him how you got them? <laughs> so where are you from in the state, Peggy? Uh, I'm from Ohio originally. Oh, okay. Midwest, yeah. Uh, I've been in London for about seven years, and I went to drama school, did all that, and got a bit bored, and started doing burlesque. When I first started training, I saw the Hurley Burley show, um, and I thought, oh, that's really awesome. I don't want to do that. And then, uh, yeah, then I, I started doing burlesque, and uh, Polly actually judged one of my very first competitions. I did. Obviously, she thought I was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, obviously, obviously. <laughs> and then, yeah, then I auditioned for the show, and I came and did the last run that we did uh, on the West End. And um, now I'm hosting the show down here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So how long did it run on the West End? Um, we've done three seasons. The first season was actually kind of a workshop, so that was just a mm-hmm. week. But then we ran for two months at the Garrick uh, 2011, and then we ran for two months at the Duchess Theatre this year. So we just ended at the end of, of, of August. Jeez, that, I mean, so. that's very impressive. I mean, to hold, hold uh, your own in the West End is not, not that easy nowadays. Especially nowadays, yeah. I mean, shows have been closing right, left and centre through the summer as well because of the Olympics as mm-hmm. well. It didn't actually bring people into town. It scared them away. So the fact that we ran for so long um, in, in the West End this summer was brilliant, you know. Yeah. But everybody likes an escape, don't they? And everybody yes. likes things that are a little bit naughty and a bit different. So Erotic. Erotic, Something. there you go. <laughs> so you've got to do a Madonna song somewhere. Like oh, well, that. this is the thing. I mean, I am Miss Madonna. I mean, that's she's my inspiration. And I will say that there's a moment that includes, um, oh, God, that in, it involves Michael Jackson's bad, but it's also inspired by a performance that Madonna did with Like a Virgin in the Blonde Ambition Tour in 1990. So I'm not going to say any more, but if you saw that, <laughs> if you saw that, but again, it's, it has got that huge comedy injection, so you know well, we can take it to a limit with the with the naughtiness, but we don't. You know, it all, we always pull it back with the humour. So it's what, why do engaging. why do you think that the sort of forties fifties uh, icons look has become rejuvenated? I think people love nostalgia, and I think back in the 40s and 50s, women were women, and women were celebrated for the <laughs> women were celebrated for their curves and and their their sort of pristineness and their glamour and femininity. And I think you know um, that's what I like about it. I love to feel like a lady. I mean, Peggy, what what do you what do you think? Yeah, I think um, I think from my point of view, it's this. I think it's coming back from this idea that, especially for women 
starting in the 80s, whatever, you had to act like a man to be taken seriously. And now it's like, actually, no, I can still dress like a woman. I can still be sexy, but still be taken seriously. You don't have to but hang out it, in the house. And isn't it just sort of the amalgamation of, you know, when maybe in the 90s and, and 2000 or whatever, there was just too much feminism. And now, I mean, look at the two of you. You look beautiful. Thank you. You really do. And that's how women should look, my opinion, my little humble opinion. So, I mean, when you're doing shows in the West End, wasn't it great afterwards or before just to see everyone dressing up to come and see this? Isn't that what it's about? It's trying to get people to go back to say, you know what, dressing up is still super cool. Yeah. Just put a bit and having manner. Yeah, you know, just, yeah, there we go. Be <laughs> More effort and in getting involved in the whole thing. Had experience. I known, I would have got dressed up. <laughs> yeah, I want to see you. When you come to the show, I want you in a trilby. I want yeah, you in a white shirt with braces. Seats. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, absolutely. Danny, can you organize that, please? <laughs> there we go. She's on a, my fashion coordinator, stylist. <laughs> no, because, I mean, it just sounds like like so much fun. I mean, the direction, as you say, you got uh, Baker involved. But did he choose the scores, the songs? We come up with them together. I mean, we have a whole team of people. Where we've got Steve Anderson as well, who works with Will as a musical director, okay. and Terry Ronald as well. And it's, it's, it's very much a collaborative thing. You know, one of us will have an idea for a theme. So, say, for example, Geisha. Then, um, then we're all of a sudden doing... Um, um, excuse me, um, Umbrella by Rihanna um, and then we're using Rain by Madonna and then we're doing Naked in the Rain and then it becomes this whole concept about rain as Japanese geishas. So, you know, it's a very much a brainstorming Well, concept. as you can see, I mean, should we come dressed like that? <laughs> uh, no. No. There we go. <coughs> you, you, you're dismissed. <laughs> there we go. But isn't it just so, so much fun? Um, even though you've got the, the modern connotation, in terms of the style of dancing and those kind of things, uh, how do you mix sort of that 40s, 50s way to, with, with modern? Well, first of all, with our look. I mean, you know, I take on the sort of 40s and 50s look throughout the show. So does Peggy. So do a couple of the other girls. So that's, that's the start. Um, but also, you know, we, can, we bump and grind, which is the sort of typical burlesque movement. We bump and grind to a modern soundtrack. So, you know, we kind of... It's, and it's quite easy to mix it up. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's quite easy to mix it up, really. And, and do you find... Because, uh, I mean, listen, South African audiences, especially when it comes to shows and theatre a little bit more reserved yeah you know so uh, what has the response been i mean have you had people getting up in their seats and dancing around when you when you played the west end or was it a little bit too posh for that? yeah i mean but, but one of the reasons why we, we've into we haven't always had a host in the hurley burley show okay. um, and one of the reasons we introduced the host is because that host and this is peggy's job it's her job to let the audience know that it's okay to scream and shout the more you scream and shout the more clothes we remove you see <laughs> i'm <laughs> screaming <laughs> So it's kind of educating the audience to let them understand, you know, that, that they're allowed to get involved. And it's very much about the show getting involved. Yeah. I, mean, you're, I mean, do you have a lot of dialogue? Is, is it sort of like a, as the host, hostess? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you talking directly to the audience? Yeah, I mean, well, I am, but not only me. I mean, all the performance and, all, and, and yeah. the kind of basis of burlesque is that interaction with the audience. And that's why you need a host to allow people that, to realize it's not a sit back watch a theater show clap at the end it's you have to get involved and i'm gonna annoy you until you do because <laughs> the more the audience gives the more the girls give and yeah it's exactly a, it's give and take and, and the more everyone's involved it makes the whole show such a better experience makes it so much more fun no that well a lot of fun a lot of i'm looking forward we've got a couple of tweets that have come in and saying damn i'm in a place where there's not much bandwidth <laughs> and then Craig says, you're a lucky man today. Oh, no, very, very lucky. How long is the show? Uh, the show's about an hour and 45 minutes with a break. Okay. Yeah. And and how long are you running at, at Emperor's? We're, we're seven weeks, so nearly two months. So wow. we open on the 27th of October next Saturday, and we're running to the 15th of December, I think it is. So you're not here for Christmas? No. Where are you going to be at Christmas? Are you performing elsewhere? Family. Family oh, time. Family. Okay, so then the show finishes here. Where, do, do you now go on like a tour? Is it is this your first territory that you've moved out of West End? Exactly. This is kind wow. of an experiment. This is the first time we've taken this size this size of show. We went to Australia in January, but with a smaller version. Well, of the it's show. Australia. We don't. Do <laughs> but um, but yeah, this the, the this, we've got. This is the big production. This is the West End production. First time we've. Uh, We've done it on an international scale, so hopefully people are going to enjoy it, and then hopefully we can tour. You no, know, I'm that's sure. That's the plan, you know, and 
and then Las Vegas and you know and all the major. I, I want a Hurley Burley show in every major city in the world. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be extraordinary. Now you you say the other girls are coming to join you. So, but you've seen the venue. Have I mean you two have seen the venue at this mm-hmm. stage? I mean, is it what you were expecting? Is it uh, is it grandiose enough? Yes, it's massive. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's going to be good. And then, how many are on stage? Eight. There eight. Eight was, yeah. Okay, at various times. Yeah, exactly. But a lot of movement, a lot of, I mean, it must take a lot of, you know, exercise to keep fit, it's dancing. A hev- it's a heavily cho- choreographed show, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and who did the choreography? We have a choreographer called Ashley Wallen, who okay. does the choreography, and we also have an assistant director called Adam Murray as well, and he gets involved in the choreography a bit. Man, that well. sounds so exciting. How's the ticket sales team. been going? Going very, very nicely. Okay, yeah. there we go. That's uh, So it starts Sunday. And how many shows? Is it one show a day? Is it? We're running eight shows a week. We eight do, shows a we week. We do Fridays and Saturdays two shows. Jeez. So we have a Monday off, so we're hoping to enjoy Johannesburg and the outskirts of Johannesburg. Well, on, if the on our sun Mondays would come off. out. I know. <laughs> it's not, uh, we haven't given you the, the greatest weather at the moment. <laughs> well, listen, it's lovely to have you both here in the studio. We wish you really, really well. I look forward to coming to see the show. We'll get dressed up. Yes, yes definitely. just as a matter of interest, how do you buy tickets? Compu tickets. Compu tickets. And we're at the Empress Palace Casino. Yeah, Empress it's Palace. On Saturday, not on Sunday. Saturday, start yeah. on Saturday. And the nice thing about it is you can go there and car train. True. How's that, eh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, although coming back, I don't know when the last. Uh, the last train is. Never mind. You know where it is. It's at uh, right by the airport. Miss Peggy De Loon and Miss Polly Ray. What a beautiful surprise on a Tuesday afternoon. Thank you so much for Thank coming in. Thank you very much for having us. And so look forward to coming to the, uh, to the show. Great. It's going to be wait. awesome. There we go. Thank Guys, you. are you going to come with me? Dressed up? Definitely. Because yeah. yeah. your, your boy will be out uh, playing golf somewhere. Yes, he will. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky for you to go with me then. Oh. <laughs> right. well, thanks. Gears on bulls.co.za with Sasha Martinengo. He's kept himself out of trouble. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.